Hello everyone, Pixwitch here. Welcome back to my Belladonna Cove Let's Play series. Justin is in bed. He'll be in bed for a while. He only went to bed about 5 a.m. But while he is sleeping, I want to talk about an idea that I have for him. Now, in the previous episode, he spoke to Connor over the phone. And then for this episode, I was thinking, what can Justin and Connor do together? And then I thought that Justin, Connor and Jeff can go to a restaurant. Now, the restaurant they're going to go to, I made months ago. I mentioned it in episode 1.1 of season 2, so that was Jessica's first episode in the second season. So I mentioned that restaurant, but I didn't show it to you, and I thought that it's a good idea to take Justin to that restaurant. But when I realized that I wanted them to go to that restaurant, I had an idea, so I want to summarize that. Connor will realize at the restaurant that he wants to give Justin direction. He will notice that Justin loves food, loves company, so he will propose to Jeff the possibility of investing in his nephew by, and this will happen sometime in the future, by purchasing the restaurant they are visiting. Connor and Jeff are in business, so they will handle the other side of the restaurant, but then Justin will take care of food and the clients. But before Justin can run, basically run the restaurant, he will need to prove himself by getting a job in the culinary career. He will need to get experience first. I did like the idea of Justin drifting around from job to job and then eventually returning to the military career. But I really like the idea of Justin running a restaurant. And I really would like to hear from you guys what you think of it. So Jeff is basically going to buy the restaurant that I made months ago. But the running of the restaurant will maybe happen in the next season or the season after. We will see what will happen. It's a possibility, but I do like it. And then now Benny, Benny will have to go and pee soon and I hope that we will be able to scold Benny for that. And then now the landlord is here. Uh, I don't wish I would. I, I should have had the web as him. The web. Oh dear, that was also a fear. Still no rent, you better pay up soon or I will have to bull you. We also have to go and pay the bulls. 32 simoleons for that. Now, Benny <laughs> finally peed again, so we really need to go and take care of that and take care of the paddles. And Justin, who loves to throw parties now, he wouldn't want his apartment to be smelly. But I can see this place, unfortunately, becoming a bit dirty. Because Justin's priority is really friendship. I also see that he wants to go and find a roommate. And that happens after the landlord pays him a visit. I thought we'd look at Benny's interests. Benny really likes scary things, playtime, toys, as well as the outside. For memories, he only has this one of Justin joining the pack. Learned behaviors, so we're busy working on those. So Tuesday, 12pm, Sophie, his little sister, will be at school. But I would love like him to go and call her up, get to know her a little bit. But Justin should be yeah, tired. I think he can go and sleep for a few hours and then call little Sophie. Justin did sleep for a while and he still has to go and call Sophie, but I want him to go and work on his relationship with Gavin. And he's immediately going to talk about someone who passed away. And Gavin laughs at that. Something about growing up well. Maybe Gavin thinks that Justin is doing really well for himself because he's really young and learning on his own. They're really speaking about that for a while. Oh no, <laughs> he's switching over to cooking again. So this is honestly why I think Justin running a restaurant is a good idea. Let's go and see who is calling him. Sophie! Oh, this is nice. 
birds and then tortoises. Now best friends maybe he's saying that she can bond with a classmate over pets. Maybe he mentioned Benny. But of course he's gonna go and talk about food once again. 27 over 17 of Gavin. I do want to go and improve that. So 16 over 8 of Sophie. I love it that she called. I'm still talking about food. This is what I mean. Like, he can speak about it for a long, long, long time. But maybe because he speaks about food so frequently, he will go and gain another skill point in cooking. We could go... Oopsie. We could go and do that. Speaking about the earth. About his reputation. Okay, now he's boasting. Speaking about technology, maybe they're speaking about subjects at school, but they disagreed about that. Oh, now they must be speaking about a school project. 37 over 8, I think that is good enough. Why don't you entertain her with a joke? Talk. She interests. Let's go and gossip. And then tell a story. Oh, he's going now. All right. Time to go inside the apartment, I guess. I made a group for the restaurant outing. Everyone will make it to the outing. See you there. Wonderful. So they've arrived. And here is the restaurant that I made a month ago. I called it the eatery. And let me just lower the walls. Lower the walls again. It's really bare. And really not that interesting at the moment. I really want to build it up. I want to add loads of paintings that people, other sims have made. So playable sims, paintings that, they, that they've made. We can hang it up on the walls. I'm talking about his good reputation. So why don't we go and do a shift's choice. I am going to give Justin the money back. Because I'm saying that either Connor or Jeff paid for the meal. Talking about animals, he really likes animals. Maybe he's also going to go and... Oh, Gavin is here. <laughs> Hello, Gavin. Didn't expect to see you. Talking about best friends. Five best friends. Does he have five best friends? I must actually go and look at that. And Jeff over there is speaking about Justin's good reputation. That he is a good kid. And Connor is agreeing. Yeah, he is a good kid. So I guess over here, Connor thinks about Jeff and the possibility in investing in Justin and running the restaurant. And then Justin over there switches over to best friends once again. And Connor is also bringing up best friends that Justin is really outgoing and he's good with people. Talking about work. Growing up well. Good reputation. Work. Growing up well. Quitting his job. Interesting. I could put together all of the speech bubbles and say that Connor thinks about investing in Justin because of that. And Jeff over here is speaking about dates. So Jeff is asking his nephew if he's dating anyone just yet. So yeah, this is a really, really simple restaurant, but I really, really love the idea of building it up, putting in paintings that the citizens of Belladonna Cove have made, so they like donate it to Justin's restaurant, the eatery. I really like that, but I also like the idea of it expanding a little bit because right now it's really bare bones. Justin is back busy mopping up another pea puddle. He did gain a cleaning skill point from that but he is just exhausted so he can go straight to bed. Little Benny needs some social but Benny is okay but I want to go and check out the aspiration benefits. And I'm thinking of giving him the three-way calling benefit. While a standard conversation may be enough stimulation for a normal sim, the true social butterfly prefers a conference call. During a phone conversation with another sim, you can use the phone to call a third sim and build relationship with both. I really like this benefit for Justin. He is really, really busy with friendships at the moment. But I also like it because of Judith Baker and Maria Boyd. They will work on getting Maria Marsh arrested. And I also like the idea of Justin getting involved. 
I don't know what exactly he's going to do, but I like that idea, especially since it will be a connection from Justin to Jason. It will be something that they can bond about in, in a way. But I really, really like this one. So yes to the three-way calling. 6.30, I think I want Justin to get up and then give some attention to Benny. I will like it if he will roll the one to throw a party. Because I do want him to spend some time with Tara. Let's go and play and then toss an air and then give love a snuggle. Justin and Tara well, were drifting apart, but then they ran into each other by the gym and they missed each other. And I thought that if Justin rolls the ones to have another party, then he will have a party with Tara. Because Tara will graduate high school soon, so he can celebrate that with Tara. But at the moment, he is not... Well, at the moment, he doesn't want to have a birthday party. 32 simoleons, yay! At least we can pay that. Now, Ginger is outside. 2 over 2. I think I want Justin to go upstairs and knock on the nuisance door. So Gavin has decided to allow Justin to come inside. So we have little Georgia Newson over there, Garrett Newson, and then Gabriella talk, and then talk about hobby, fitness, cuisine. I guess he will go and talk about cuisine again. They are really not getting along right now. And for some reason, the bed that is supposed to be here and over there are not showing up. And then also I have the CC that goes on top of this crib. So basically two cribs in the two tiles over there, but for some reason it's not showing. But we will see this apartment in the nuisance round, and then you will see what the bunk beds are supposed to look like, and then what the crib is supposed to look like. And it will be interesting to explore the nuisance. But then now, 50 over 26, so nearly friends, nearly there. Speaking about new family members. Are you friends yet? Yes, you are. Nice. And then why don't we do a gesture of high five? Well, then Justin over here, he sees that they are two toddlers and they are two children. And then there's Gavin and Ginger, two teenagers. And then he wonders, how is everyone living in this small space? Judith is calling again. They're really, really, really good friends. Actually, about... Oh, scold for peeing on the floor. Sorry, Judith, we have to go and take care of this. My best friends. So yeah, his dad, his mum, and then Tara, his uncle, and then Judith. So give love, snuggle, and then we can go and mop up. So he has one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, best friends. Oh, and then uh, just before Justin left the restaurant, then he became friends with Connor. So that's also nice. It looks like Justin is not going to have a party with Tara to celebrate her graduating high school. But I can also have Tara throw a party in her round. That can also happen. But why don't we see what is available? And then I think we're going to call Connor. We're going to make as if Connor calls Justin. Cleaning. As a male, a maid, a look again, firefighting, bartending, no more jobs available. So Connor will tell Justin that he had a discussion with Jeff about the possibility of running a restaurant, but they want Justin to first get a job before Justin gets to run the restaurant. So Connor will be like, this is a, a big opportunity, a big chance for you. So think about it. Your uncle is interested in the business, in the restaurant. We could say that Jeff is deciding to invest in the restaurant for his future. But we could also say he's considering this restaurant because Marissa is also considering her future and she is investing in a business but she's also going to invest in more than one business. So Jeff is thinking about Marissa, he's thinking about his wealth, he's thinking about his future and I think that is why Jeff would really consider investing in Justin and investing in the restaurant. 
So the point of that conversation, which we still have to go and do, we still need to have Justin go and call Connor, but the point of that conversation is that Justin is going to have a goal in the next season, that he is going to work in the culinary career. So Justin should be done with that soon. I want him to answer the phone. I did want him to go and call Connor so that we have that actual conversation. Then I want to take him out real quick to go to a certain, uh, well, business. Oh, Connor! Well, what do you know? Okay, so this is where Connor speaks to Justin about his idea about the restaurant, and then Jeff is thinking about it, really considering it. Oh, look at it, talking about a promotion. So maybe he's thinking that it will be a personal promotion for him to run the restaurant, and he did speak about coffee just there. Speaking about BFFs, he knows so many people and he can meet so many people through the restaurant but he has connections and that would help with running the restaurant to get the word out and so on. But again, speaking about a promotion, so I think Justin would be really eager about well, ego to run the restaurant, but then also concerning a promotion, you would have to go and get a job in the culinary career. But speaking about safety, Jesse, and now speaking about the cops, maybe Justin saying that his dad will like it, that he's being responsible and mature, but really speaking about the cops. Maybe he's saying that he knows so many cops and the cops will go and tell people that they know about the restaurant, so he's really eager about this. But then our relationship's gone in 95 over 44, so they, their relationship really, really improved. Let's go and walk to Lot Community Lot, and I will see you there. And here we are, we are at Euphony in Marissa's business. And Marissa saw Justin, and then she immediately came outside. And they are speaking about food. So maybe Marissa heard that Jeff and Connor went to the restaurant. And then let's see what else they are going to go and talk about. Oh no, he wants to go and birdwatch. Speaking maybe about his apartment. But then while they speak, I'm going to go and show you this. So I made this sign. It really looks better further away. <laughs> but... I finally made a recolor for this sign. It says Euphony, and then underneath it says the Clevelands. So by every business that the Clevelands own, you will have that underneath the name of the business. Now I do like these two musical notes, but I think I want to tweak it. I think this is maybe draft number 5 or 6 of the sign. And I don't think this is the final version, but look, speaking about food, I honestly don't think this is the final version. But I'm going to keep it like this for now. I think it's going to look like this in the third season, but then I'll probably change it up before the fourth season. But then they had a conversation, speaking about food, hug friendly, and then why don't you give her a family kiss. And then Justin is going to go home. He decided to see his mum. He knows that Marissa is now running business. And then maybe in the future he's going to run a business as well. So that just gave him inspiration to go and see his mum. See how everything is doing. But then now he's going to go home. Justin does need to go and take a shower. I'm going to have him call Sim. We are going to go and invite over Sarah Stone and then Justin is going to go and quickly take a wash. And then now let's go and chat. And then why don't we ask... Do you like what you see? I want to know. <laughs> I want to know. And then let's go and ask... Actually, after that I think they can go inside. They we're talking about the supernatural just over there, but then Justin doesn't want to speak about that. Let's go and change over to that action. And then let's see, what is she going to go and say? Yeah, she finds him attractive. I was expecting her to say, like, what exactly it is about him that she likes. But let's go and make selectable, and then let's go and see. 
Okay, mechanical and good at cleaning. Okay. And then now let's go and talk chat. And then... Justin, what are you doing? And she's gonna go to the computer. This is not how you woo a woman, Justin. And then now let's go and ask... What do you want? And then we're gonna ask... What do you fear? She wants to be best friends with Justin and he also wants that. Oh. Sorry, we need to go around scold this puppy. What is the relationship like? 100, uh, 100 over 47, I see. Oh, is he gonna go to bed? Really? You didn't even say goodbye. And then I'm curious. I wanna go and see. Make selectable. Oh. So why don't we flirt and charm him? Just this one action, just this one action, and then you can go to bed, okay? Okay, young man. And then now she wants to ask him on a date. And then now let's just go and say goodbye to her. And then now you can go to bed. Benny, how are you? Benny's fine. Okay, Justin, you can go and sleep now. It is 3 a.m. I'm going to end the episode right over. Yeah. Let me know what you think of the restaurant, that possibility. Also, what do you think of Sarah? But, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all soon in the next episode. So, until then, take care. Big switch out.